big pussy, she have it like check stimulus. So I started rapping, I love the check bigger than all these other niggas. They hate, they love to. Yo 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 what's up guys it's Arpa here and today's tutorial I will show you guys that super requested tutorial I actually posted a preview for a guy on my Twitter about a week ago and my comments were flooded that I should do a tutorial on that So here I am making a tutorial the only thing you will need for this tutorial is the suffer point. But other than that, if this video is helpful for you in any way, please consider ring, drop a like and a sub. But other than that, see you guys in the tutorial. So basically now I'm in the venture soul and now let's start doing the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you need to use a song with three different beats. I will use this song here, sir. It's really cool and it's perfect because it has three beats. And basically what you will do when you find a song with three beats is you will basically mark the three beats. That's really easy. Just go to the beat and press M on your keyboard. I'll see you guys when I'm done that. So like this, now I'm marked three beats. And basically what you can do now is you will start off by just dragging in the main clip. So the clip that is gonna be see the whole time. So basically just sync it up with the third marker, so the third beat, and time wrap the clip. I already done that, I see you guys. If you don't know how to time wrap a clip, I will link an amazing tutorial on that in the description. All the clips you're gonna use are gonna be time wrap. Basically what you will do now is you will drag in a second clip basically like this now you will sync it up with the first marker so basically again go to shot for impact mark it by pressing m on your keyboard and sync it up with the first beat slash marker so like this this again as i said all the time rapid when you've sync it up with the music you need to drag the end out quite a lot so just like this we'll play around with that later but you want this to start about 25 frames before the kill happens about here you can play around with that yourself but that's what i found was best but now you basically can drag in the second clip. Basically drag it in like this and this time sync it up with the, the second beat slash marker. So basically just mark the shot of impact and sync it up with the second beat like this and drag it out. And this clip you want to start on the first beat slash marker. So right here, so basically control B and split it. So it starts where the first beat is slash marker. So it kind of should look like this on your timeline. But basically what you will do now is we will basically kind of just cut out the middle part. How we're going to do that is first of click on the middle clip. So the clip that is on the first beat and press open in fusion page that will bring us to here and basically what you will do now is you will press on this like square rectangle and it should connect like this if it doesn't connect just connect it to the medium one and it should kind of mask it out like this basically what you will do is you will make it thinner like this maybe like this even and then drag the height all the way to the top like this so it should look like this kind of like a phone but basically when you are happy with it this step is very important you need to right click on the rectangle and press on macro and press create macro because we are gonna use it later i will just name it rec tutorial like this then press enter and then basically just press close and this should pop up save changes to macro to one press yes and then basically choose a random place for it i will just press save like this usually just pick the default location but basically when you've done that, you're going to go to the edit tab again and right click on that clip and press new compound clip and press create. So like this. But basically what you will do now is to this like top clip or like the clip on the second beat is you will right click on it and press it open in fusion page and basically what you will do now is you will again mask it out as a rectangle basically what you can do press on the medium one press control space and just search up the name of the macro you put it in. So I name it Rick tutorial and here we see rec tutorial press on that and press add they should pop up and connect it to the medium one and it should become masked like this again really cool in my opinion this feature is one of the best features of the intro result in my opinion but then basically go back to the edit tab again right click on that clip and press new compact clip and press create but now we will actually play around how it comes in to the clip how we're gonna do that is again go to the first clip that is on the first beat basically right click on that and press open infusion page it should look like this basically what you will do now is you'll press on the medium one and press control space and switch up blur mode curves this and press add and then basically what you will do is you will go to the shot of impact that's fast from the kill happens or basically where the kill happens go there so right there and keyframe the shift X and then go to the first frame of it so right here and keyframe the shift X again and then basically what you want to do is you would want to drag the shift X as much as you can to the left like this if you see that it doesn't go away all the way behind like the scene then don't be scared because I will actually show you guys right now how to fix that basically press on spine up here press on that and this graph should appear basically check the shift X 
and then press on this like full screen and it should look like this then basically this first dot you see before the curve happens you're gonna basically take that and drag it down and watch at the playback and drag down until you can't see the clip so right here we can't see the clip anymore so now you can full screen again basically what you will do now is you will actually kind of fast fade it how to do that is press on the first dot again and this like white line should appear and the second dot drag that dot up quite a bit like this that will create a really cool like flying effect you can all play around with this later so remember that then basically press on the second dot so right here and press f on your keyboard and it should look like this you can drag it a bit down if you want i used to play around with this a lot usually but i think that this usually looks good but you can also play around with this later but then basically you can go close out of the spline and now basically what you will do is basically go to the second keyframe on the shift x so right here it changed the value so it is in the left corner of the playback so right here so it should look like this on your screen don't worry all the graphing you did should be left and look the same so basically just change it like this but then basically what you'll do is we will add some drop shadow how to do that is press and press control space and switch up drop shadow you can use the default if you want press add basically then play around with the strength and the drop angle do it how you think it looks good i think that this looks quite good actually now go back to the edit tab in my opinion it looks absolutely crazy but guess what now we'll actually add the same thing to the second clip we'll basically do exactly the same thing but the other side so basically again just right click on the top clip and press open infusion page basically press on the medium one press control space and switch up blur mode curves then press add then basically go to the shot of impact where the kill happens keyframe the shift x and then go to the first frame of the clip keyframe the shift x again and drag it all the way to the right you will again see it a bit like this but we will fix that in the graph basically how to do that is press on the spline again so right there and press on the shift x then press on the slide full screen and this time the graph will go downwards but it's basically the same thing press on the first dot but instead of dragging it down now you're gonna drag it up like this until you can't see it anymore so like this now we can't see it in the frame anymore then you're gonna full screen again and this time again we are gonna do the same thing press on the first dot and this white line should appear and at the end of this white line it should be a dot basically press on that and this time instead of dragging it up you're gonna drag it down like this like this kind of and then press on the second dot and do it like this kind of you can also play around this later as i said so like this now you can close off to the spline and again go to the second keyframe of the shift x and drag the shift back so it is all the way to the right like this in the right corner like this now we're gonna add the drop shadow basically press on the blue because press ctrl space and switch up drop shadow take the default one press add and then basically pair one with the drop angle and make it so it looks as similar as possible to the other drop shadow so like this then you can go back to the item and look how we think it looks I think it looks really cool in my opinion but now it's basically just the impact left to add and that's basically the easiest thing in my opinion. Basically what you have to do is go to FX and drag in an adjustment clip and make it so it starts on the first marker and drag it so it is above every clip. Make sure that you don't make the adjust clip shorter because that will mess up the preset you're gonna use. I will tell you guys later when you can make it shorter but then basically just hover over the adjust clip and go to the fusion tab. Then in the description you should find gold ruffle. In the gold ruffle you should find a preset called impact sat rp. But it's just don't with that impact and just drag it in like this then it will make it like this all the keyframes and everything should be done go back to the edit tab right click on the adjust clip and press render cache color open but then basically you're gonna go to the second mark so the second kill and then you're gonna hold out on the adjustment clip and drag it so it starts on the second mark like this by the way you can make the adjust clip short now if you want and now it's basically just the main like kill effect left to add and then it's basically just the clip disappearance thing left to add basically how to do the main impact is basically again go to fx and drag in the adjust clip and make it so it starts on the third and main beat where the main clip kill happens don't make it shorter again i'll tell you guys later when you can make it shorter then basically just hover the adjust clip and go to the fusion tab in the same good roughly you should find the press called cleaner basically just don't that and just drag it in like this and connect it 
And now it's basically just the clip disappearance left to add. For now we can disable all the effects by just dragging over them and pressing D on them just to make it lagless. But how to make the clip disappearance is press on the fudge top clip first and go where the main kill happens. So where the main clip gets the kill and keyframe everything transform. Then go about 20 frames to the left, so like this, and drag the position to the right until you can't see the clip anymore. Then do the same thing to the first clip, keyframe the clip transform, go to the shot of impact of the first clip, keyframe it, then drag it all the way to the left like this. So that's basically how it should look. If you enjoyed this video, please consider drop a like and a sub. And other than that, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!